So welcome back to another Bee Swarm Simulator video, and in today's Bee Swarm Simulator video, we are going to be buying the Nighttime Nectar Pack, and I'm going to really explain what all this does, and is it worth it? Because I'm sure all of you really want to know about each of the packs, why they're worth it or why they're not worth it, and what's even the point of having these in? I'm not going to go over the Digital Bee or the Mondo Robo Bundle, because I don't want to spend 10,000 Robux on all this, and then be like, yay, I'm going to pay to win now. But the other two packs are just in the range where almost any person, $15 really worth of Robux. I mean, if you'd got that from Christmas, then it works out. But this really comes in handy. Both of these do for the second quest, or the 10th quest of Bee Bears. Where you need to collect everything. Cloud vials, they're they're a little hard. Magic beans, I'll explain why those are actually not that hard in a second. Stingers, that's what I have left. Really, all these are easy other than collect 10 gingerbread bears, collect the micro converters, the honeysuckles. If you didn't know, you need to get those by completing and using the dapper bears samovar. So really that just flows in with the samovar. I think you get close, you get like 9 or so usually every single time you do the Samovar. So not that hard. Microconverter, those are a little hard to get. Stingers are just your vicious bee luck. For me, I'm not very lucky with that. Cloud Vials is Windy Bee. Magic Beans is really more of Windy Bee. But other than that, if you go into both of these... This one has five Night Bells, which is super good. They're guaranteed to spawn in Vicious Bee if you use one. And then, of course, the Magical Mythic Bundle, which you get in tomorrow. Or whenever I make this video. The next video on this. I will go over this, but it gives you five Festa Beans, which means all you have to do is I'm hoping that that counts as Magic Beans. If not, then... It's alright, but I'm hoping that that counts as magical beans, even though they're festive beans, but Nighttime Nectar Pack. One star egg, one of each nectar vial, which is super good. 20 glues. Right now, everybody seems to be going for the gummy bask that I know. 20 glues is going to help out a ton. 5 night bells, 100 tickets, and 500 snowflakes. 500 snowflakes is just amazing for where I'm at right now. 100 tickets always helps. So we are going to be buying this, and why this is worth it. The Nectar Vials, of course, don't have like a Robux implement on them. I'd say they're worth 100 for all of them, easily. The 20 glues, if you could buy glues, people would buy them. Five Night Bells, they're worth 80 apiece. So 400 alone is covered by the five Night Bells. And if you look at what a star egg costs, it costs 800. So 1,200 worth of stuff in the Robux department and the 100 tickets as well is worth 400 i mean you're just loading up and then the 500 snowflakes is probably also worn, worth around 400 or so if you were to pay if there was an actual way to buy them but we're going to be buying this and we're going to get our second star egg which is going to be insane go ahead and click on it three two one and we now just got all that stuff. Of course, that didn't help me with the anything that I need in this. That would help you with the collect 10 snowflakes if you're having trouble with that. There's so many things that it would help you with just buying these packs after you get the 10th quest. So now we just bought that. And if you guys like that info, make sure to like and subscribe. That is all for now. And peace out.